All right, guys, she is in. We are done. Uh, a, a boosted noise, like, yo, we supercharged now? Hold up. Today, we're doing everybody's favorite mod to the MT82, and that is a short throw shifter. You got Steeda, Barton, you got NGW. All of them have great track records. I wanted to just breeze through it. That's why you guys saw the B roll at the beginning. The MT82 for the S650 has been revised, but the shifter assembly is identical. This is one of those things everybody's cup of tea, everybody's flavor is a little bit different. Arguably, transmission mounted shifters, most people's flavor. I, I actually am one of the few that like body mounted shifters mostly it's just the fact that when you're in gear you still get a little bit of movement with a transmission mount and when you go to like a Steeda unit which is what we're going to be installing the slop in gear in the gate is actually like non-existent it kind of pops in and out I've had the Steeda Triax and other Mustangs before in the S550 like twice and I've also had experience with Barton as far as NGW goes they're great they're fantastic they are um, amazing but again wanted something a little bit more firm it's just my my flavor and see it has the recipe for what I like stock shifter is supposed to be identical to what we've had for the past you know since 2015 in my shifting experience I know I've got 3,000 miles on the car it's been a lot more tight direct and notchy compared to some other older S550s that I've driven and I imagine with miles this would be the same and from my experience this new Steeda is actually a little bit different than what I've seen before so let's dive into it let's go see there's got a couple of different options okay you can do their street shifter which is basically this and this thing right here rear bushing basically this combination it's super cheap and you can uh, pair it up with your OEM unit but for today we're doing the whole shebang the race shifter this is is something that I've noticed as different from what I've seen in the past and it used to be for the reverse lockout which is something that I like I don't like pushing down on the shifter I like the pull up reverse lockout feature it was like one solid piece with the uh, other arm right here built on but this is a little bit different it's gonna bolt kind of like that and it actually gives you a little bit of side to side movement you can really fine tune where the reverse lockout engages and get that crisp one to two shift you can run this with no springs you've got street springs which is what we're probably going to go with and then you've got like a race more race hardcore version that's going to make it like really stiff one piece billet aluminum everything in here there's no bushing here in the front arm so you're going to get that really direct throw compared to the rubber that's on the OEM the stock rear bushing it's the same bendy rubber we're gonna breeze through the install of the new one let's get it on the road and go for a thorough test drive I'll let you know what I think about this new shifter in the s650 she is in we are done with the bottom of the car and we have the new Sita unit installed it's really easy i've done these a few times so for me it's not that big of a deal it's a shame that we have to cover up all this beautiful billet you know like there's third gear straight up and then fourth i mean it's very direct i mean it feels very clicky there's fifth six the street springs installed and it honestly doesn't feel too bad right now what's cool is if we want to change the springs we just have to take this section off and then we can get to inside of here we don't have to go underneath the car again ever with the reverse lockout collar this used to be like one piece now it's separate so you can actually fine tune your first second gear and the reverse clutch in car's not running you can be if you wanted to so this is completely neutral and then there is first gear so i mean we're barely moving this thing I mean, right there is first gear, right down into second. First, second, but you just slap up, and we're in third. So no more missing gears, no more high RPM lockout. But to test the reverse lockout feature, once you figure out where you want this to be aligned to, because you'll have a few millimeters left to right movement, lift up, it's gonna cross over the bridge, the top of that metal piece, and it's gonna be reverse. One, two, three, four, 
five and six working good definitely notchy you can hear it clicking in and out of gear I mean it's very mechanical and it snaps it's one thing I love about this shifter is that it just snaps into gear some of the other ones they don't. I mean, if it makes any sense to you, think about a GT350, okay? They are body-mounted shifters, and if you go to, like said, MGW, it's still body-mounted, even in the Tremec 3160 and the GT350. Also the Mach 1, same, same deal. Testing out this new camera that we're on. I don't know if I like it, if I'm in love with it, but it's just really, really wide. It's like, really, but. Uh, this is the new Insta360 Ace Pro AI. It's got some cool features, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, how's the video and the audio uh, clarity and all that, but anyway. All right, so we're out here testing our new Steeda Tri-X race shifter, and I like it. I went with the medium street springs in there, and I definitely recommend it. I, I don't know that I would ever want to put, actually, the race springs in here, unless it was like a one-trick pony, you know, drag car, and I need to nail every single gear. But I'm not having any problems with these springs either. Um, of course, you can run it with no springs at all as well, if you don't like the added, you know, shift effort that it takes to actually go in and out of gear because we are at a 30% reduction in uh, throw so it's going to take it's going to take more muscle to get past these construction guys it's going to take more muscle as you go in and out of every single gear um, there is some NVH increase with this body mounted shifter as you'd expect but I wouldn't say it's a bad thing you can hear the transmission kind of what it's doing first and second gear have kind of a whine to them it's almost like uh, a, a boosted noise like yo we supercharged now hold up you know but uh, no just kidding um, it does not sound bad and after about a day or so you're gonna get used to it so I've had this shifter twice in other cars I've had uh, some experience with MHW and I've owned Barton in the past as well I like this shifter for the way that it feels in gate like there is like no play period dot does not move and I like that I like that you know we've done the suspension to the car it's, it's kind of especially the 24s it's firmed up the steering a little bit more uh, the suspension is really tight we've got the Steeda dual rate springs on here with their adjustable damners and you know everything about this 24 busing that we're building is becoming more tight you know and I, I really am enjoying the way that it's feeling this this is just the beginning of course but the stock shifter definitely feels uh, not bad you know it's certainly an improvement over uh, in my experience the other older s550s but the shifter itself is still the same as it always has been right the, I'm talking about the body of the shifter the stock one so I, I, I don't really know maybe it's just because the car's so new no you know we, we took it apart that rubber that stock rubber rear bushing was already pretty flexible so I don't know maybe something is different internally inside of the transmission it makes it feel a little bit more notchy and a little bit better in the 24 Mustangs but definitely feels different than an S550 uh, from what I can remember so 30% reduction in throw Let's get a little gas here. I mean from left to right movement this is what you got so there's going into first gear and then there's up to fifth. So, I mean, this is all that you get. Clicks, and it just kind of forces. And then when you're going to go third from second to third, I mean, it's straight up. The handle is about an inch lower, and I was afraid that it would be too low. I didn't want my hand, like, inside of the console. And 
that's not the case at all. So I'm uh, very surprised and relieved that it's not too short. It's not too short. Um, I would still recommend doing maybe like a weighted knob on this and probably make, you know, shifting a little bit easier. And that is something that I definitely want to probably do in the future. So on and off the gas, I can hear transmission noise. So for some people, they're not going to like that. But here's the deal. I've already got heavy duty suspension on this car. I have a really loud exhaust system and I'm usually listening to the radio while I'm driving as well. So I don't really hear much of this uh, NVH increase. Now with the radio off, we're filming, I hear it, I hear it. But again, in a real world situation, you can have the radio on, you know, you're probably not gonna even notice it at all. So is that a deal breaker, the added NVH increase? I don't think that it is. It's also not like a sponsored video. I paid uh, real money for this thing and you know I had the options to go with the other brands. I chose to go with this one because for me this is my flavor. It's what I like. It makes the car just again feel really really tight and aggressive and that's kind of what we wanted to go for with this whole uh, 24 build. Let's see if we can capture the startup noise because you kind of hear the car roar to life a little bit more. It's not like a bad thing it actually sounds kind of cool so you get the starter noise is what i'm looking for the starter noise is just a little bit louder so you hear that noise anyway and then it's just kind of amplified and it actually sounds kind of cool so not a bad thing in my opinion thanks buddy it's so it's so satisfying going in and out of gear it, it just like pops into gear. It almost like it just assists you. It's it's just kind of clicks, clicks. And you can hear that too, which I really, really like. It gives some more, I think, characteristic to the car, if that makes any sense. It gives some more, um, it's like a symphony of stuff that's going on here. The mechanical clicks in and out of gear, which I think is just dope. And then you have the exhaust, the V8 noises, all those things. So it's a Mustang, guys. We want to be able to hear it. We want to be able to feel it. And I think that this, for me at least, um, is pretty appetizing and I enjoy it. So anyway, of course, we go to fifth gear. I'm at 53 miles an hour. The car kind of shuts up. I don't hear any V8 increase at all. When you're cruising, like we are right now, I don't hear anything at all. I'm, I, I don't really, I don't hear nothing. I'm enjoying it. I think that, uh, you know, we're on the right track here, making the car just more aggressive, feeling more aggressive, because remember, we still can't tune these 24 Mustangs. Play hopefully soon. And then we'll hit up Winger Performance for a tune whenever tuning becomes available. But in the meantime, we've been doing things like suspension, some cosmetics here and there. Um, and then, of course, now we've got the short throw shifter here. Just bringing the car together as a package. A lot of you guys might be on the fence about which short throw shifter you might want. This might be a viable option for you. Remember, GT350, Mach 1. You know, even if you go to a different aftermarket short throw shifter, they're still body mounted. And like MGW still body mounts those. There's pros and cons. It's like there's cons to transmission mounting a shifter as well. You know, sometimes it will move, it'll have that walking effect. I don't really care about that, it doesn't bother me. Um, you might feel the shift knob move around a little bit more in your hand. I don't really care. So, it's whatever. For me, this just came down to the feeling that I like um, specifically with this shifter from past experience and with experience of driving other people's Mustangs um, with different aftermarket shifters. So anyway, hopefully this video will help you out. I think that this is a pretty cool shifter. I think it feels absolutely amazing. I mean, it's just so satisfying. So satisfying. It's kind of just kind of pushes you in. And uh, I don't see how in the world you would like miss a gear with this short shifter. I, I think it's I think it's priced right. I think it's a beautiful piece. It's it's lightweight, made of built aluminum. I mean, it's great. It's fantastic. Um, so anyway, hopefully you enjoy the video and just let you know that yes, I approve. I think it's great. Uh, I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. And uh, anyway, until next video. God bless all of you. I'll see you later. Goodbye.